as Jeff mentioned earlier, uh, community college. Community college is a great option. And Jeff talked about a, a little bit about uh, the university and how he went to Oregon State. Community college to me holds a, a big part of who I am and it's near and dear to my heart. So I love community college. Um, and I went to Portland Community College here in Washington and Multnomah County. Um, in Oregon, there's roughly about 17 uh, community colleges in an area and, and a map will show up here in a little bit to show you some of those uh, um, areas that, that do host a, a community college in, in their county. Um, the nice thing about um, community college, it's, it's approximately a third of, of the university. Um, the cost of the university. So it's a lot nicer. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot more cost effective if you're looking for something that, you know, um, won't um, put you into a lot of debt um, before you move on to university. Community college is your option. Another selling point of the, the community college is smaller class sizes. So some of the class sizes at, at the community college are probably smaller than some of your high school classes. Um, I, last I checked, maybe some high school classes were maybe 35 students. Your average uh, community college class size is between 25 to 30 students, which is nice, especially when, when it comes uh, to meeting with your, uh, your professor um, and communicating with them in class. So that's a, that's a nice selling point. Also, the application is super simple. I don't know if you've gone through the, if some of you have gone through the college applications or have done the Common App, but that is a lot of work to do those applications. So I've, I've been through with my students and it's a lot of work. And the um, community college application is very simple, very straightforward. You actually hear back from them within a day or two of when of, uh, submitting that application. So it's really nice uh, to hear. Um, also, community colleges don't require SAT or ACT scores. There's no GPA requirement. So if you're thinking about um, going to the community college, please apply. It's super simple, very easy. And if you were like me, who probably didn't do so hot in high school and are thinking about maybe redeeming yourself or doing a little bit better, community college is your option. So I definitely recommend that. So here's the map that I alluded to a little bit. So you can see some of the areas that host a community college in the area. Um, it's pretty much all around the state of Oregon. So there should be one close to you if you're looking at that. Um, I like to tell Portland Community College, because that's where I went to. It actually, um, probably one of the largest community colleges in the area holds about 80,000 students between its four campuses and two satellite campuses in the area. So it's a really big campus that holds a lot of programs. All right. So some of you may think, well, community college is great. Um, and it, it's probably um, it's probably nice if you want to use that as kind of a little bridge to university if you're thinking about going to university. I think especially in COVID, a lot of students maybe have turned to the community college as an option of not going to the university and not having in-person classes. So um, that's a big that's a big you know thought with a lot of people. However, community college does host a couple of really, uh, not a couple, but a lot of good programs um, at, uh, there. So as an example, I've put down like nursing, uh, dental hygiene, dental assistance, radiology, auto repair, microtechnology, as two year degrees, right? Just two years, you're done. So by 20 years old, so you're going as at 18 and by 20, you could have a career already in, in one of these fields. But let's, let's, um, let me actually backtrack a little bit. And I wanted to highlight one program that I think is really great, um, dental assisting. Dental assisting is a great program for those students who are looking for a short um, a program to get into. Um, our dental assisting program at PCC is extremely sought after by employers. Um, we've got Will Willamette Dental who actually has constantly calls PCC asking for more students and what they could do to help some, to lure some of these students into a degree in dental assisting. And I kid you not, 100% of the graduates have jobs by the time they're done with their dental assisting program. So having a guaranteed job within two years of when you've graduated high school is pretty awesome. And it's honestly, it's really sweet. So I'd highly recommend looking at some of these programs because a lot of the programs at community colleges have a high uh, job turnaround. So if you apply to the community colleges, you're more than likely going to have a job by the time you're done with one of those programs. But let's say maybe you're not looking at a two-year degree. Maybe you want to do an apprenticeship or a trade program. We have HVAC training, electrical trades, facility maintenance uh, technology, um, and industrial mechanics. These are some great programs that lead to great jobs. I always tell students, if you're thinking about doing electrical trade, try one at PCC uh, or at the community college you're after because one year you work after you're done, you get your training, you work as a journeyman for about a year, year or two. After that, you're an apprentice and you're and you and you have a pretty solid career. So 
what I'm getting at is you don't necessarily have to go to the community college to go to university. You can be successful by doing a trade program or doing a two-year program and you're done and you're on your own. Because I know there's a lot of people, um, especially me growing up, who probably wanted to move out of the house uh, sooner rather than later um, and wanted to be on their own two feet. So I definitely recommend looking at the community college and some of the programs that, that are offered in the area. Now, we talk about community college. What about funding? How do we, how do we pay for the community college? This is a big part of the conversations that I have with students all the time. I always talk about Oregon Promise. Oregon Promise is such an amazing program that covers a lot in, in, you know, in, just, in just very simple terms. Um, so what is the Oregon Promise? Oregon Promise is basically a grant that Oregon, the state of Oregon uh, created maybe six or seven years ago, roughly, that um, helps students who um, complete their high school diploma in, uh, here in Oregon. They finish, they have a 2.5 GPA. Oregon the Oregon Promise will pay up to 90 credits, which is roughly two years of a degree. So when I was talking about the dental assisting program, dental assisting program is probably in that range of 80 to 90 credits. So if you qualify for the Oregon Promise, you're gonna come out debt free. And that is super awesome because like a lot of us, we actually have debt by the time that we're done with the university. So coming out debt free, is a great way to start off your career, not having to worry about um, paying back a loan or anything like that. That's a great opportunity for you. So I always recommend that students apply for Oregon Promise because it's it's something that's given to students as long as you have a 2.5 GPA. And another thing about this too is um, if you're undocumented or you're a DACA student, you qualify for Oregon Promise by filling out your ORSA. So that's another big thing. So if you know somebody who's undocumented or, or, on, um, or on, under DACA, you qualify for the Oregon Promise. So make sure that you apply because it does have a very, very sneaky deadline of June 1st, which a lot of you are probably in high school, finishing out your finals and, and doing other things that, that are surrounded around senior, uh, like graduation and whatnot. So make sure that you pay attention to that first, that June 1st deadline, because Oregon Promise is something you don't want to, uh, to slip through your fingers.